Hi V Squad, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. AKA is mentioned revealed as rental. Furniture removed after tragic death. In a tale that teaches us not to believe everything we see on social media, the shocking truth has emerged surrounding the late rapper AKA and the mansion he resided in prior to his ultimate death. Contrary to the popular belief among his fan base and the South African public, it has been revealed that the luxurious mansion in Bryanston, where the renowned musician and record producer Kenan Forbes lived, was not his own V-Squad. Despite flaunting a fleet of extravagant vehicles with millions of friends on social media, the vacant has scrambled, exposing the reality that AKA was merely a tenant in the suburb. After the tragic murder of AKA and his close friend, the lease agreement for the mansion was abruptly terminated by their landlord. Fans react after landlord removes AKA's furniture from Branston Mansion. The news of AKA's furniture being thrown out from the Branston Mansion was first reported by Sander World, and it sparked a flurry of reactions from the South African public. While some questioned the significance of these revelations, others were taken aback to discover that the mansion was not registered under the rapper's name, despite the lavish lifestyle he portrayed on social media. Social media users were shocked V-Squad, and one went on to say that it's so sad because Cairo had a lot of memories with her father on that mansion. Do comment on the below and let us know what you think. Bye, everyone.